But staying with telecom, you know, uh, where we're talking about debt and restructuring, we often forget that it's actually celebrating 25 years of its existence. The Indian telecom industry, the industry currently is mired in the debt crisis, so celebration may not exactly be the right word. But I spoke with Rajiv Sabha MP and founder of BPL Mobile, Rajiv Chandrasekhar, who we spent 14 years of his life as a telecom entrepreneur. He exited his entrepreneurship role uh, in about 2006. Now, Chandrasekhar has written to the Prime Minister. He's written a letter to Mr. Modi saying that there needs to be a reimagination of India's telecom policy. He also believes that telco should not be asking the government for a bailout or a sweetheart deal. He believes that taxpayers' money should not be used to bail out telecom companies because of bad judgment of telecom companies themselves. He also believes that debt-laden telcos should be treated equally with other highly leveraged companies and they should not be given any special treatment. Listen in. SOS after SOS going out from the telecom industry to government seeking urgent intervention. Do you see parallels to what we're seeing today in the Indian telecom sector to what perhaps we saw in 1999 when again there was an SOS to the NDA government saying look we cannot pay the annual license fee and then the decision to move to rev share? No, look I think uh, Shreen we have to uh, understand two things. One is that uh, 25 years on, I think it is time for us to pause and, and look uh, at creating a new policy framework that addresses many things. I think uh, the debate and the narrative in recent days has been dominated by the so-called uh, debt crisis in the telecom sector, but there are other fundamental issues that we have to grow up with, which is technology, which is the issue of competition. No, no, I'll, 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 I'll,
Uh, and we are very, very far away from the days where, of 1999 where there, were reg there was regulatory uncertainty, there were disputes between government and telecom operators. This is now yeah. a situation where companies are arguing their, their bad judgments have to be bailed out by the taxpayers of the country and that is never going to fly. Okay. It is never going to fly in parliament, it is never going to fly with Reserve Bank of India and it is never going to fly with the banks.